Gustavo Adolfo Uribe here, and now you, I'm going to talk about uh, how to acoustically treat your recording workspace, okay? So the first thing we need to talk about is your speaker placement. Um, you're going to need a ruler, okay? And the goal here is you want to get a, a, a perfect triangle. Um, so basically, you got to measure... Uh, from the cone, okay, from the cone to the other speaker cone, all right, cone to the other speaker cone, and then from f that, that needs to equal the same length as your speaker cone to your right ear, to your, to your right ear, okay, so it's going to be like here, okay, and then here and here okay so it's uh trying to get everything in the frame here so basically um this to that speaker cone equals to here and to here so you're in a perfect triangle okay that's how you get the sweet spot, okay? Uh, if you don't do that with your speakers, um, then it's not going to be the right... Um, it's not going to sound as good. It's, it's going to sound off, okay? Because uh, you gotta, it's got to hit both ears at the same time um, equally. And that's how, you, that's how you get that. So that's speaker placement. The second thing you got to do is you got to use acoustic panels to treat um, the excess uh, reverberations in your room, okay? Now, as you can see here, these are wedges. I don't know if you can actually see that, but I have wedges here. Um, ones go up and down. This one goes sideways. You can use those pyramid ones too, but basically, you're going to use... Uh, acoustic tiles behind your speakers behind your speakers and you're going to use this mounting tape scotch double adhesive tape okay to mount them and basically just take a little four corners of this little strips and then you just stick them on your wall and you could take them off your wall it doesn't damage your wall so that's cool i've seen other videos where like they'll like Glue them onto cardboard and then they'll nail it. No, 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 just use this shit. It's, it's really easy. Okay. <clears throat> so, you got to make sure that you have acoustic tiles um, all behind your speakers. Okay. Now, also, uh, where you sit, you need to have acoustic tiles parallel to your ears if you get what i'm saying so i'll turn the camera here and what i did in my acoustic space is I actually put tiles all around in the same uh ear level of my of my space okay so you could this is the light for video light and that's basically what i did all around my room to get my uh acoustic acoustically treat my space now once you do that you also got to get some bass traps so as you can see here on the corners of my ceiling i put bass traps okay and I have them on the four corners of my room. Boom, 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 right? And as you could tell, it's pretty quiet. It's pretty dead in my room. There's, there's, I'm not hearing no, tuka, tuka, tuka. you know, like it was pretty bad before. And then when, it, before I didn't have these tiles, like when I would listen to the sound, it'd get like, it was just really weird on the speakers. It was just like, you get phase cancellation, whatever, and it sounds like the sound is fluttering. 
um but once you put those panels in there it sounds like butter like oh wow like and those bass traps really really help um really really help uh, i'm planning on getting a subwoofer soon uh that's in the process uh but that's basically how you uh you know you uh, get your space ready acoustically treat uh get it ready um also i have a mic gobo here mic gobo the mic shield um for the microphone and that some extra extra protection for um getting your your space acoustically treated um i recommend for tracking uh using some hello hold on a second actually i'll just go that do that in the tracking video well okay so and i can recommend on a side note uh if you're going to acoustically treat your room and you need some monitors i highly recommend these akgs for tracking they're very comfortable and somewhat affordable um for tracking and then if you're gonna get speakers monitors um i well i'm gonna get a subwoofer i'm gonna get a sub uh and i highly you know recommend that you do as well because when you just have these speakers uh you know you the bass is, is always off it's always off you're taking the car and you're always guessing you're always guessing um these particular speakers are KR krks um they're okay they're not Everybody has KRKs, it seems like. Um, I mean, they're not, you know what I'm saying? They're not, like, I'm not a big fanboy. It's just like it was affordable, somewhat affordable. But um, if I had um, if I had the money, I'd drop, you know, two, three grand on some good speakers in a heartbeat. Boom. You know what I'm saying? But um, whatever. With the subwoofer, it's going to work out. A uh, lot better. So anyways, whatever that was a side note. That was a side rant uh, Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions comment uh, On the video. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching